So as a self-published author, it's a dream come true if you ever have the opportunity to have your book turned into a cinematic book trailer. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the process of hiring a professional to create a book trailer, the cost of creating a book trailer, as well as some important things you need to know before you actually go ahead and choose someone or a company to work with to create your book trailer. This is actually the first out of a small series of videos that I am partnering with Film14 for. Film14 is a book trailer company and I worked with them to create a new book trailer for I Am Mercy. So this series is taking you from the process of hiring someone, creating the trailer, and then of course the trailer itself. So today we're talking about the decision making process. This means we're talking about budget, types of trailers, and why you would want a book trailer. The second video is coming this Wednesday and that is going to be the new book trailer for I Am Mercy so you get to see what we're talking about in action. And finally the third video is going to be coming this Friday and that is going to be a behind the scenes look into how the trailer for I Am Mercy was created from the scripting to the editing to the filming all of that. Make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as the bell notification icon so you don't miss the video when they are uploaded. If the videos are already out and published, you can find them up above in the info cards and link down below on my book trailer playlist. Hello everyone, my name is Mandy Lynn. I'm an author, book cover designer, and the creator of the Book Launch Planner, and I create weekly videos on writing, book publishing, and book marketing, so if that sounds interesting to you, be sure to stick around. So I was super excited when Film14 reached out to me and we very quickly started brainstorming ideas for a new trailer for I Am Mercy. For those of you who don't know, I created the original trailer myself, I filmed it myself, uh, I was the actor and my mom was the person handling the camera. Um, it did the job but not great. It's my easily my least favorite trailer out of all the book trailers I've made. I've also made the trailer for Essence and for She's Not Here, both of which had very different ways I went about making the trailer. So if you're interested in that, then again, I have a playlist all about the book trailer making process. But today in particular, we're talking about working with a professional to create your book trailer because my oh my, is there a big difference and the quality is stunning. So first and foremost, why would you want a book trailer? So like I said, I already have a book trailer for Essence and I Am Mercy and She's Not Here. Those book trailers all have thousands of views. So each view is a potential reader. So hopefully they watch the trailer, they're interested, then they go in the description and buy the book because the link to buy will be in the description. So that's really the main reason why you would want a book trailer is exposure. It's a great marketing tool. Now of course the better the book trailer is the more likely someone will be to actually go ahead and buy the book. If you have a boring book trailer you might not translate that into sales. Another way you can experiment with your book trailer is you can actually use your book trailer as an ad whether that be on YouTube, on Facebook, Instagram, whatever. The medium that performs best on social media is video, so it would make sense that you would want to use video to promote your book rather than images. So if you decide to use your book trailer, say for a Facebook ad, people will be scrolling through and then all of a sudden they see this very interesting book trailer and hopefully that will cause them to pause, watch the book trailer, and then think to themselves, I need to buy this book right now. And lastly, another use that could be for your book trailer but isn't as common is you might want to make a book trailer if you are interested in having your book being made into a film. So if you create a book trailer for your book, you can use that trailer as a way to show to filmmakers or producers or whoever it is you need to talk to for that. You can show it to them to be like, hey, this is proof that this book would make a good uh, 
film adaption. Basically, you take your book trailer and you bring it to film festivals, do some networking, and cross your fingers that it interests people enough to want to make the book into a film. Let me know in the comments down below why you would want to create a book trailer for your book. Would you use it for just general marketing? Would you want to use it as a paid ad? Or maybe you want your book being made into a film someday? Let me know in the comments down below. So when it comes to professional book trailers, the first question, and probably a very valid question, is how much is it going to cost? So when I talked to Film 14 about this, they basically said it varies depending on the project. Some projects are very high skill, where you have a lot of actors, and some of them are lower skills, where it's more just animation that they create, so you don't need to hire an actor or a crew or any of that. A basic book teaser, and book teaser means it's about 30 seconds, or a basic animated book teaser ranges from $500 to $2,000. The next bracket would be an actual book trailer that has actors and a film crew and there's location scouting and all of that stuff. So the more people you get involved in your book trailer, the more expensive it's going to be. So for Film 14, those types of trailers range around $3,500 to $15,000. Now you may hear that price and be like, oh my god, what are you talking about? That's a lot of money. But think of it, it's basically you're filming a miniature movie for your book and the equipment they use is professional and trust me when I say the outcome is very professional. Usually the average price is under $4,000 for self-published authors and a little bit more for that for bigger publishers that want to create a book trailer. Now as an author or a publisher looking to hire someone to create your book trailer, you have to ask yourself what type of experience should you be looking for in the company or the person you're looking to hire. First and foremost, you want to make sure that the person you hire has experience in the book world as well as the film world because those two worlds collide and when that happens, you get a stunning book trailer. Now, someone can understand the film world, but if they don't understand how the book world works and that type of fandom, the, tra the outcome won't be great. Whoever you work with must fully understand what your vision is for the trailer and be able to create that. It's generally recommended that you avoid working with a company that just uses templates to create their trailers because the trailers end up coming off as generic and not personalized to your book. When you work with a company like Film 14, they do everything from scratch. So they're creating the script, they're actually hiring actors, and they're filming it for you so everything that's created is completely organic. Which brings us to the next point, and that is what exactly makes a book trailer look professional. If you want the most professional looking book trailer, the best thing you can do is hold your book trailer to the same standards as a high quality music video or a movie trailer. If you get something that ends up being along the lines of creativity and quality of that, you'll end up with a book trailer that not only looks stunning, but you'll also get a lot of use out of it. So when you have a book trailer, it's not just for release week. It's not just to look pretty and to bring your dreams alive. It's really a marketing tool. And if you create a high quality product, you can use that tool over and over to promote promote your book. And when you have such a high quality trailer, it will really make your book stand out a lot from the rest of the books that may have lower quality trailers. So what are your different types of trailers? What are the options? Because there's really a lot of options into the styles of trailers and lengths and how much they'll cost because we already talked about cost already. But let's break it down into the specific types. So the most common is a cinematic book trailer. So the cinematic book trailers really could look like an actual movie trailer except instead of advertising for a movie, they're advertising for a book. So it's actors, it's dramatic, it's emotional, and the goal of course is just to get you interested enough to want to stop and pick up the book. The next option, and the option that's probably most popular with authors who are on a budget, is a book teaser. Now book teasers are around 30 seconds. They usually contain animation because you don't go into hiring an actor or any of that because you're on the lower budget. You're just doing high quality animation and text and sound effects 
and you're doing whatever you can to really get people hooked and interested. Another option that Film 14 does, which I think is super cool, is an author trailer. So this is them advertising the author rather than the book itself. Now the author will be in there talking about the book, but you'll see the author in their element either talking about the craft or the stories that they've written, and it's a more personal approach to going ahead and trying to sell books. And it's also a good option if there's an author with dozens and dozens of books out. So instead of trying to just advertise for one book, you're advertising for every book under their scope. The next option is a short subject documentary. These tend to be a little bit longer, usually under 10 minutes or so, but definitely much longer than your typical book trailer or movie trailer for that matter. And these are great for nonfiction books. So it's basically a miniature documentary about whatever the nonfiction book is going to be about. So it really showcases what the book is about, what you'll be learning about, and it's enough to hook you in and get you interested. And lastly, we have short films. So this is the option you would choose if you want to maybe someday make your book into a film. And that's what I was talking about earlier, where you create a book trailer that really showcases how strong your book is and how it would create a good option for a film. And this is the type of thing that you would want to take to film festivals and showcase it and hopefully get people interested in working with you. Now these aren't the only options that Film 14 has for types of trailers, but it's a good starting point. It lets you see what your options could be and then you can kind of pick and choose what elements you like from there. So the trailer for I Am Mercy that you guys will see later this week is a book teaser, but it also still has an actor and it had a film crew and all of that. So it's short, but it has that dramatic effect of having an actor in there to really pack a punch. And the last thing you may be wondering if you're looking to hire a professional is what do I need to provide? What do I need to give them to make sure that this comes out as awesome as possible. And for Film 14, they request a few different things. They like to have the full manuscript to read it, they like to read the synopsis, and they also want to have the book cover. And if you have any other stuff that you want to provide to help them really get a feel for the book, then go ahead and provide that. Film 14 will also ask what your dream actors are for your book, you know, if it was ever made into a movie, and they aren't going to hire those actors. Well, maybe they, they will. If you have the budget for it. Um, but the, what they will do is that they'll look at those actors, see what they look like, and then find other actors that will look similar and look like your main characters. That is it for today's video. If you want to unlock cool and exclusive content, be sure to join me over on Patreon or you can join my newsletter. And when you subscribe to my newsletter, you get access to PDF printables and webinars. If you want to see all my other videos on book trailers, be sure to check out the playlist, which is right over there. Otherwise, I will see you guys later.